Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Turtle Toes Redo Transformation. Y'all, my toes are in really bad condition. Like, I haven't gotten a pedicure in probably almost two years. And the last time I really actually did my nails was the last video that I uploaded. I did um, buy some gel polish and, you know, just threw some polish on it. Just kind of like, you know, do something with the toes. But y'all see what the condition is. <laughs> Y'all see what the condition is. I actually had some poly gel on this toe right here, this big toe, and it popped off. So, yeah, I went back. I got to go back to the acrylic because it just works better for me. So, you guys, if y'all are interested in this video, then please stay tuned. I know this video was very popular and highly highly requested for another um, video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. So, I'm gonna try not to talk too much, but I want you guys to really kind of understand that the methods in which I do my toes are the methods in which I am comfortable doing my toes. It took me about a week to do this video, so I kind of had to like, um, you know, do what worked for me. You know, I might not file a certain way or a certain way that you see, you know, other people do their um their toes or their nails or whatever but y'all i was in a very compromised position so i had to kind of just do what i had to do so yeah i'm filing all of this stuff off of my toes i will leave all of the products to everything that i use in this video in the description box if you do not look in the description box please do not comment and ask me where i got something from please because i leave everything in the description box i want you guys to know where i got everything most of the stuff i did get from amazon like 90 percent of the stuff that i use and you know the other two percent is from young nails so um shout out to young nails i love young nails they are the bees knees <laughs> they are my favorite nail company but yeah I put everything down in the, in the description box below so you guys can go check that out. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My toenails are not even close to being perfect at all. You know, everybody got their own insecurities. I don't have no pinky toe, so we had to kind of work with what we had. <laughs> I um, also, um, you guys will see in the next few clips but i did not use a form this time like i did on the last um, you know video i didn't really feel like using a form because i kind of know how to sculpt i just like to sculpt so that's my thing i like to sculpt and i feel like sometimes you know a form kind of gets in the way so it, it worked for me that's what i like to do i enjoy doing it that way so you know hey it is what it is um so yeah i'm gonna be quiet so y'all can enjoy the video Here, I'm just kind of like trimming um, just a little bit of my toenails. I kind of should have done this before um, filing the polish off, but I wasn't really thinking about that. I was just trying to get that stuff off my toenails, y'all. I, I just ooh, I wanted to get that stuff off my toenails, so I did, I did stuff kind of backwards. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I am using Young Nails Protein Bond, and to be honest, you really don't need to use this if you are um, applying acrylic on your toes because you know the toenails don't really get as much exposure as your nails but you know I just 
felt like using it this time just to try it out. Um, and here, the first bead of acrylic was a little bit too much. I used way too much acrylic. It's been a long time since I've done my toes, y'all. Like, over almost a year. So, um, it's, it's gonna kind of look funky, but it's all good. And my brush, the last time I used my brush, I did not clean it correctly. So don't do like me. Learn from my mistakes. Make sure you clean your brush because if you don't, this is what's gonna happen. Your application is going to be very sticky and hard to work with at first. So yeah, don't do like me, y'all. <laughs> I made some mistakes, but it's all good. I wanted to do something a little bit simple this time. I didn't want to do, you know, a loud polish or anything like that. I kind of just wanted to do something really simple, neutral, and nude. This is a fail, y'all. I was just trying to see, you know, what I could do with this glitter. I ended up doing it a different way, you guys can see at the end of the video, but I just did not like that. So what I did, I just let it dry, and I just eventually just took it off because it just, mm, it just didn't kind of like go on like I envisioned. Like I said, you know, trial and error, y'all are going to see a lot of the mistakes that I made, you know, the things that I changed my mind on, because it's okay. It's okay to change your mind and change some stuff up and do some things. And you just got to keep rocking with it. So I got this glitter and I did a review on this glitter. I will leave it somewhere on the screen, but I got this from Amazon and I just kind of wanted to try it uh, on this set that I was doing on my toes and I ended up liking the second method that I tried 
the first time I used way too much glitter, y'all. Like, I have been out of the nail game. It's been, I, I, I got my license back in 2013. I went to nail school in 2012. I really kind of haven't been in the nail world since then. So, I'm like, not, all this glitter and stuff, y'all, like, it is totally new to me. So, it's something that I'm really learning and trying and experimenting myself and you know i'm just trying to get adjusted to all of this new stuff that we got out here now so um i'm also capping it with young nails and speed clear acrylic and i love speed clear it's great for um you know stuff like this when you want to just encapsulate stuff so so this bit that I'm using is a rainbow cone bit. I purchased this from Amazon and I honestly really don't like it that much. It's not very good. To me, in my opinion, it doesn't really file as well as I would like for it to. But you know, hey, it's a cheap drill bit from Amazon. I encourage anybody to buy good quality bits like that is your stuff right there. You need, you need good quality bits, you know, to perfect your your nail sets or whatever. But um, yeah, it, it worked for the time being because this is kind of like all I had. Um, and I turned my drill up to a seven, a seven, I believe. Um, so that was really the only way I could get it to like really do what I wanted it to. Do. But it worked very well. I'm very pleased. With it. Perhaps I just need to, you know, turn my speed up a little bit. But I gotta get me another bit, y'all. I gotta invest in some really good quality bits. Most of the drill bits that I am using are from Amazon. Um, this drill, it's this drill. This not this drill. <laughs> this e-file, this electric file that I'm using, is called Mel. It's the Melody Soothe e-file. I did. I also did a review on this e file and I love it guys it's off the chain I bought this one from Amazon it is a really cheap e file if you want to get into the nail game or you just like you know, do nail stuff and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on a drill on an e file this e file is what you need in your life okay it's awesome I love that it is rechargeable so you don't have to keep it plugged up to anything while you're working and it has a, um, you know, digital speed dial thing. I know, y'all, like I said, it's been a minute. And <laughs> I just bought a new drill. Like, I just bought a new e file. And I'm still saying, I'm still saying drill, y'all. But this drill, this e file, is off the chain. I love it. I love it. So, like I said, I will leave all of the products that I use in this video in the description box below. And yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Yeah, I disregard my nails, y'all. Like my actual nails on my hands. Oof, them things be done. Like, it's just like I, I have so much stuff that I need to do, and I kind of neglect myself first. So it's all good. So just disregard that. part is really important for me and this is something that I actually kind of tuned into with my last video I did not really go up under my um, sidewalls of my nails and I you know my nails grow really deep 
and they look really ingrown, but they're not. Um, so I did go up under my nail, my pre edge, and I really just got in there and made the thing straight because you know it, it makes a difference in the overall look of the nail. The drill bit that actually came with the e file. Um, I really don't like to use the drill bits that come with the E5, the little cuticle bits, because I don't really feel like they're as quality as, you know, professional bits, but it worked, and it did what it was supposed to do. I used it to go up under my nails and get rid of all that excess acrylic that was, you know, built on when I applied my acrylic. Obviously, if I had to use a form, I would not have, you know, needed it so badly, but because I did not feel like using the form, that's what we got, so that's what I was doing there. Uh, this, <laughs> doing your nails like this takes a long time and a lot of, you know, skill. It took me a really long time to get to where I was comfortable enough to do my own, you know, acrylic overlay on my toes. So just keep trying at it. It's not easy. You know, anything that's easy, obviously, is, you know, not what you want. So I'm using some vinegar and alcohol right here. I made my own little disinfectant spray. <laughs> How y'all doing in this quarantine? And I'm using Poochie's Top Coat and Young Nails Protein Bond to just kind of like, you know, finish this thing off. So I am done here, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or you just want to share your concerns and your thoughts, then please leave them down below. I would love to hear you guys. I love your you guys' comments. So I will see you guys on the next video. So baby, what you gonna do? Calling all your friends when they come through. So you give me your number one I control. So you really, really meant for the girls when they come through. Come through. Ah, bad man. Say she want, say she really want, she try to really want. Ah, calm down.